Very pretty. Well, thank you. You've got yeah, either I'm you. on acid or you're glittering. Is that? <laughs> is there a glitter? Can you? I don't know if they. Yeah, they can see that at home. Yeah, it's is like that, fairy dust. Fairy dust. Yes. Okay, you showbiz people. <laughs> Cuckoo. <laughs> now, uh, yeah. you um, you have had this level of success, which it, it got crazy starting. How long ago would you say? It's a, a year and a half ago, maybe. Yeah, like two. Years really ago. got intense. Right. And uh, only you and I really know what that's like. <laughs> I wasn't kidding. <laughs> um, the fans, I mean, I'm always hearing about your fans and how intense they are. I heard that they're actually, they're going to your home where you grew up. Is that right? They're going to where your, where your mom lives? Is this, is this true? Yeah. At first, it was really weird because I'd be calling my mom up and I'd be like, Mom, who's at the house? And she's like, oh, there's just some fans in. I, you know, I'm serving she, them tea. She would invite them yes. in? Yes. I was like, what are you doing? Yeah. That just... intends to encourage them to come back, you know? <laughs> come on in. Watch free cable, you know? She's a nut. Next time, bring a weapon. Yeah. Uh, now, uh... The world we live in. <laughs> oh, Andy, you're just in a bad mood today. No, now, I'm not. Did um, did they, did they, they take stuff? They take stuff from the your yard. I heard. What are they stealing yeah, from your yard? They would um, come and steal dirt. I don't know why. But... Steal dirt? <laughs> yeah. That is giving me an idea. Actually, <laughs> how do they know it's your dirt? I could sell any dirt on eBay and say mm -hmm. that I met you and I got some dirt. You know. Yes, people believe anything. So. Right now, you are fairly famous for you've created this look and you have a bare midriff a lot when you're when you're performing you say that's a southern thing is that right yeah well seriously it's so hot down south like when we go to dance rehearsals I mean yeah everyone just wore sports bras and in the video they're like she's being so sexy and I was like I actually I thought the video was kind of cheesy but I don't know well, you, <laughs> you thought it was cheesy yourself yeah. well you you where'd you grow up you grew up in, in New Orleans yeah. in New Orleans mm -hmm. okay I you say New Orleans or New Orleans I say New Orleans I don't okay. say New Orleans no. I'm fake so I say New Orleans uh, <laughs> so you think it's just because it was hot and if you had, had grown up in like Antarctica you'd have a completely different career You'd be, you'd be dancing in a parka. Is what. Probably so. Did um, let's talk about the uh, the Mickey Mouse Club where you got your start, which is turning out to be this great training ground, right, for a lot of people. Yeah, there's a lot of people that have come out of there, like um, Christina Aguilera and mm -hmm. NSYNC, um, Justin and JC from there. Yeah. How old were you when you got started with with? Um, I was like 11 and 12 when I did 11? that. Yeah. So, we, it's weird. You'd be seeing Disney World from a completely different perspective. Yeah, we were backstage. It was cool. It was a lot of fun. Like, on our breaks, we'd go out there and we'd, like, go to the park and it was fun. You'd fun. go to the park, but what are you seeing? I mean, I would think backstage at Disney could be frightening because you'd see, you know... You'd see the people with their heads off, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you'd be like... so hot. A ten-year-old girl seeing, like, Mickey take off his head and... <laughs> <laughs> smoking a cigarette. Did that happen ever? Yeah, it did, actually. It happened. Smoking a conventional cigarette, yeah. Uh, did so you would see things like that before? Did you? All the time. Now, how about Disney? I've always heard that Dis, you know, Disney World, of course, is great, but you always hear these sort of spooky things about the Disney Corporation and sort of these. I'm not even going to go down this road. Um, <laughs> no, just like you know, you always hear like it underground that there are people in Disney jumpsuits that are walking around and that there are cameras everywhere monitoring things, and that it's a pretty strictly run organization. Yeah, it is pretty strictly run, but not you know that. Okay, intense, will not. I be killed if I keep talking this way? All right, <laughs> <laughs> Disney, you rock. Uh, are there there are Britney lookalikes? Which has got to be strange. It's a little strange. Yeah, I had one show and my mom came there and there's this guy and he, was, he won a contest because a you know, guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, my mom thought it was me. She was like, "Brittany, come here." And then she turned around and <laughs> it wasn't your, me. When did your mom figure it out? <laughs> hey, mom, it's great to see you. <laughs> that show was rough. <laughs> I can't believe so. The person must have been turned away at least for a bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, they were in this whole school schoolgirl thing. So. Now you do a show. People go insane. People go crazy in a nice way. They're really excited to see you. Have you ever had 
anything weird happen, like somebody jump up on stage or someone, you know? Actually, yeah, it was like our last performance, and this guy, um, it's, it's where I like walk around the stage and, the, the, and there's no music or anything going on. And I think the audience thought it was planned, and this guy just all of a sudden, he comes up on the stage and he takes his shirt off and he starts screaming. I'm like, please stop! And then one of my dancers, TJ, he came up and he took him off the stage. So, so did people thought it was part of the show? Yeah. And they yeah. liked it? Yeah. They, you yeah. should bring this guy with you. <laughs> What if you went back to that guy and went, okay, here's the deal, $200,000 a year, <laughs> drink way too much and jump was, up on stage and flip out. It was very cool. It was very cool. Now, great honor, you are the going to be the Grand Marshal at the Mardi Gras parade yeah. in New Orleans yes. or New Orleans. Yes. Uh, what's that like? Because I've understood that there's this tradition. Have you done anything like this before? There's a tradition where people, you know, lift their shirts and got, people expose themselves to get beads. I mean, is that, is that, that's, it's going to be weird. Yeah, it's going to be very weird. Yeah, I went there when I was like um, 14 or 13 and everyone, they're just crazy. They're really crazy. They're throwing up their shirts and throwing their pants down like, oh, stop, please. <laughs> <laughs> that's not going to work, saying, please stop. <laughs> Beer-fueled maniacs. So you're doing Star Not Live this weekend. That's fun. Have you been having fun so far this week? Yeah, actually, um, after this, I have, like, rehearsals for it, so I'm really excited. So they've picked the sketches. You're going to go upstairs. Mm -hmm. There's stuff you like. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that sounds like... And you're going to sing, too, right? Yeah, I'm going to do Sue's Okay, songs. well, Saturday Night Live this weekend, you have a new CD out called Oops, I Did It Again, which comes out next week. Yes. Right? And you have a book out, which we should mention, Britney Spears' Heart to Heart. Me and my mom, we wrote it. This is you and your mom wrote this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. We'll check this out, folks. Uh, Brittany, thanks so much for making time. I know you're busy. It was nice of you to come by. Thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for doing it. Brittany Spears, everybody. Tom McCoughlin. Coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Getting to perform on stage at Radio City, meeting Janet Jackson, Eminem, anyway. Well, the one thing that would make this night complete for us on a personal level is to bring out a singer who needs no introduction at all. And we don't even need to say her name. Just listen to her voice. Standing next to it, the one and only Britney Spears. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? So good to see you. You too. Always. You, too. you know, we were just talking about how different the vibe is this year as compared to last year where we were at Lincoln Center. It's a little more jammed yeah, up here, isn't it? it's a little more jam-packed and everyone's just like really squishy, but I think it's crazy. It's exactly. really, really crazy. There's so many more fans than there were last year. This is great. That right. was fun. It's awesome. Uh, of course, you're a nominee tonight, but also performing. I know you don't want to give too much away, but something special planned for tonight? You know what? If I give it away, then it won't be, you know, a surprise. You have to watch. If you exactly. want to see the surprise, so. <laughs> there you go. We've uh, For the rest of the year, I know you've got a European tour coming up, yeah. right? Looking forward to that. Your first yeah. European tour? Yeah. I'm yeah. so excited because I've toured the U.S. for like three years in a row. I'm really, you know, excited about going overseas. <laughs> yeah, well, no. Right. No, just I'm really excited about going to different audiences and see how they respond and stuff like that. And they say the crowds there are totally different. So, you know, just like, you know, Spain and Paris. I'm really excited about that. So. Any, any award you'd love to pick up tonight or anyone you're really looking forward to seeing? Probably viewer's choice, just yeah. because, you know, the fans, they're, you know, voting for that. So that would probably be the best, definitely. Always something special about that award, oh, I think, God, to, yeah. to most artists. Best of luck. Thank Always you so good much. to see you. Hopefully we'll catch up with you later. Okay. All right, let's check in with Brian, who's not too 